Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today I want to talk about the latest product that's arrived in the UK for the Ajax wireless alarm systems. Now this is a smart socket type G, type G meaning it is of course the three pin UK socket. Now if you're not familiar with Ajax or Ajax if you live on the European continent, Ajax are the top manufacturer of wireless alarm systems. Not just wireless alarm systems, you know the usual PIRs, door contacts, keypads and things like that, um, but also uh, smoke alarms, uh, O2 sensors, fire alarms, uh, damp protectors, you name it, they do it. They're an excellent company, well thought out and certainly looking to the future. I have three Ajax alarm systems, one in my home and two at my commercial premises. And that should tell you all you need to know about Ajax. So this is their new um, smart socket. It's been in the market about two and a half weeks now. I've not had a chance to do the video because truthfully I've just been installing so many because we have hundreds of wireless Ajax alarm systems out there. This one comes in white. They also come in black as well, though I can see that being quite limited for the United Kingdom. Of course, if you've got plug sockets that have got the brushed silver outer and the black inserts, then the black ones would look particularly neat in there. Has a scan code on the inside. Scan that on your Ajax app. It takes literally 10 seconds and you are up and running. Has a power button on the top. So when you're in close proximity, you can still switch it on and off. Because like this one that's mine from my home, obviously the switch is always on. And you want to be able to switch it on and off using the button as opposed to deactivating it. Has an LED strip around the outside, like you can see here. And of course, the inners of these three pins also light up as well. So a really nice looking thing. You can dim these lights if you want. You can have them switched off. You can have them lit up only when it's active. All inside the menu, all at the click of a button, really easy. I'll just tell you what it says on the back of the box. Smart plug. Controls electric appliances because anything that's three pin. Monitors power consumption. I'm very happy about that because, of course, energy is so expensive at the moment. It's nice to know what it's drawing ampage, wattage wise, and what it's costing you per kilowatt hour, all inside the app and very accurate. Execute scenarios, again, making this a true smart device. Manage via the app. Again, a good point because I mentioned the app is really simple and super reliable and it communicates with the hub up to 1100 metres. And when I say hub, I mean the alarm hub, not your wireless hub that you get your Wi-Fi from. Totally separate to that, so totally secure up to 1100 metres. Just so you can see, this is Smart Socket 1, which is usually in my bay window. And this is 20 metres away from the alarm hub that is hidden inside a metal comms cabinet under my stairs. And there's uh, one, two, three, four, six walls in between here and there. And there's still plenty of signal. So it just goes to show the power of these and their dueler Wi-Fi system. Now then, why do we use these smart sockets? Why have I got this in my bay window? Well, when we're talking about security, I like to talk about lighting. In my bay window at the front of my home, I have a beautiful Victorian lamp that I was able to buy a few years ago. I adore the thing. I've got um, a very low wattage bulb in it. But at the end of the day, as beautiful as it is, it is just a light. But with this plug, it turns it into a smart light for me. I use this particular socket in the window because... If it's dark, on nights like we have now, the clocks have just gone back, we're just into November. I usually have this to come on between quarter past four and about quarter to five. And I set it for different days, you can have them all the same if you like. But, you know, if you set it for different times on different days, you're being a bit crafty. 
and then I'll have it going off somewhere between half past 10 and 12 o'clock. I can switch it off manually when I go to bed, of course, or use the app, but it makes it look like there's somebody in the building. So if I'm working late, the house appears to be in use, and you can't beat that. Another reason why I use this is when I'm out of the country, which I often am, this is fantastic. Again, given the appearance that I'm inside the property. If I go on holiday, I also add another one of these to the system, put this one upstairs, uh, right at the top of the stairway, have a nice lamp up there, open some of the bedroom doors, have it set on different times to that, so the scenarios are different. And of course, that really does fool the burglar who would love to break into your home when he's driving past, but he thinks that you're in because your lights are on. And that's how I like to use these. Don't get me wrong, smart socket one here. If you want to plug your coffee machine into it so that it comes on, it switches on at 20 past five to make you a cup of coffee by the time you get work at half past, feel free. I've even got a customer who's got his um, three pin plug jacuzzi wired into this. It can handle the ampage and the wattage and the draw, no problem. It will handle up to 16 amps. And I can switch every light on on my street with 16 amps, let's be clear about that. So, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to come off this page with my logos, and I'm going to show you my uh, alarm system at home. And I'm not breaking any of the cardinal rules there when I show you this alarm app. There are no serial numbers, no reference numbers, and there is no GPS data. So you can't tell where this alarm is. You've got no idea, so it's perfectly safe for you to see. If it had any of those, you wouldn't get to see it. It's as simple as that. So I'm just going to bring it on now. And that is my home alarm. Downstairs PIRs, that's one zone. Gum cabinet door contact that's zone number two and my van security which is zone number three now the beauty of wireless alarm systems like i mentioned earlier on is they can be put anywhere you don't have to take cables to them so my door contact for my gun cabinet as i'm a licensed firearm owner is wireless have that on there not a standard uh, door contact it has to be said you know the standard read type that just tells you when it opens. That gun, gun uh, contact also has a shock sensor on it and the tilt sensor, and all of them have a security clip in the back in case they are tampered with. So there's no chance of anybody getting into that. It is usually armed 24 hours a day. It's not today because I'm doing a video and I'm gonna be messing around with the devices, which is this socket here, which I have on my system. Van security, because it's wireless, I have two PIRs in my van. So if anybody breaks into my van on the driveway, the house alarm goes off. The indoor siren, the outdoor siren, and my mobile devices. So that's great. Talking of devices, there's my hub for my alarm system. I have three PIR sensors, hallway, living room, and dining room PIR. There's my gun cabinet door contact, indoor, outdoor siren, two smart fobs. Just grab my keys for you. Sorry, a little bit mucky, but they are my car keys. As you can see, that is Paul's fob. I have two wireless PIRs in my van van cab PIR and van rear PIR. They've been in there over a year. And as you can see, the batteries are still full. So they're excellent, really good for van security. If you need a bit of that, come through to my Facebook page and talk to me because I, like you, I'm a grafter. I've got a van that's full of work tools and power tools and they are a huge target. Underneath those PIRs, you have Smart Socket 1 which is this device here. I've literally just taken it out of my bay window and plugged it in here. And then there is the driveway light relay, which is an Ajax wall switch in black. You can see how the units show what's black and what's white. 
there you go and that controls my lights outside on the driveway i have six lights three around the van and three down my driveway going down to the road so i'll show you that later if i can if not i'll do a separate video for you smart socket one if i click into it there is the signal strength showing us three bars on the jeweler signal system that of course is not to be confused with wi-fi it gives its own signal out from the hub it is connected via jeweler it's online it isn't active at the moment it's lit up in blue when it goes active it will turn green you can have it so that this switches on only the light when it's powered up and at any other time this blue won't be on or you can have it off altogether for this video it will be blue when in active and green when it's switched on here's the counters that you have for your energy current in amps it's showing a zero because it's blue it's not active the system voltage at the moment in the house is 233 volts that will move 10 volts either way depending on what the draw is on the current at the time in your area my protection threshold is on i have this set at three amps it doesn't need to be as high as that and it goes from 1 to 16 voltage protection is on if there's if it overloads with voltage or ampage this light will switch to red and flash it will then ping a notification through to your device but it will more importantly stop any power getting to the appliance that you have plugged in um, another one when, when we're talking about colors the green light that comes on when it's active that color gets progressively darker it goes from orange yellow to orange to purple the more power that this draws but again it can handle up to 16 amps and the truth is i can switch every light on in every house on the street including the street lights with 16 amps no problem at all so your voltage is on wattage it's showing nothing at the moment which is really handy for lights and then my there's my electric energy consumed it's showing at 1.2 kilowatt hours because this has been brought from my bay window and it is on every single night but it doesn't use a lot it uses very little um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you some of the ways now to control this unit and there are five ways in total four of them are on the app and of course one of them is the button on the top when you're in close proximity so let's talk about the scenarios i'll just nip up to the top of the page there smart socket one i click into the little cog there which is the configuration smart socket it's in my downstairs alarm there's the current protection threshold one amp 16 i've got it on three for the purpose of the video just so you can see it the voltage protection is on remember it will start flashing red and it will cut all power to any device that's plugged into it the indicator is always on so when it's in active blue or when it's active green you can have it just so the light comes on when it's active or you can have it switched off in its entirety you don't have to have these leds on but we're good for the vids that's the brightness of the led there and the mode is by stable and the contact is open and you can have it set as closed you can reset the energy consumption but we want scenarios at the bottom and if you click in there and click create create scenario here are three of the arming and disarming scenarios number one at the top by arming or disarming so when you arm the system or disarm it you can tell this to switch on or off again whether it's your lights or a coffee machine it makes no difference by alarm so if any of the things are triggered on my alarm system like my door contacts or my pir system you can tell it to activate and i'll just show you some there's my system there there's a picture of someone running under the hallway pir sensor i could click that i could click my gun cabinet door and i could also click the 
say revamp PIR. Just press next. It's as simple as that. It really is easy. And it means that you can tell the lights to set off that I have plugged in if anybody comes into the property. It does unnerve the burglar. And when I talk about these wall switches, either later in this video or the next video, you'll see how handy that by alarm is. But by far the most used is by schedule. You literally click in here, call the scenario anything that you want. I would probably call that bay window, but because I use this socket around it, so it's just called socket one, but you can call it anything you like. Switch on is ticked. Move the scroller to anywhere that you want. Let's say 430, fantastic. Then click off. Let's put it to 1830. Just underneath that, it's clicked for every day, but if you want, you can click on certain days so you can make this a totally um, bespoke timer, really. Let's say you do, um, you don't work Mondays, so you don't want it on because you're in the building anyway, you can untick that or set it for a different time or vice versa. You can see they're all ticked. I tend to do that. I think it's really crafty and it does give that appearance that you're in the building. So you can do that and all you do is press save at the bottom here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, they're the three types of schedule, by arming or disarming, by alarming, in other words being set off, and by schedule. When we come back out of here, back, 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 and back, we also have a navel rope there underneath smart socket. And there's a little toggle here that you can click on your mobile device. This is exactly the same page that shows on my mobile phone. And if I click it now, it activates. We get the bleep from the device itself. And obviously we've got a push notification there. And then if I do the same again, back to blue and inactive. So that is how You've got four levels of control just on the app, three scenarios and a button there. We also know that we have the button on the top. Still getting the notifications, of course. It's letting you know that it's been used. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, now that you've seen that, I think you can see why these are such big sellers and why I've been so busy installing them. Certainly for lights, when it comes to security, they are an extremely handy tool. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to bring a light up to here and just show you it in action. You've seen it go green when it's activating, but I just want you to see it working once and then you can really get a feel for what I'm talking about. As the cook used to say, here's one I prepared earlier. This is a standard 10 watt LED. It's on the face of a IP56 uh, water rated box. This is a 10 watt LED floodlight, 800 luminums, the type of thing you see all over, very inexpensive. But what I've done on this one, even though we don't do this out in the field, I've put a three pin plug on, just for this video so you can see it in action. I'm not only going to switch this on and off for you, I'm then going to show you the consumption of this item. Um, I'll just bring my phone up, because that'll be quite interesting. If I bring my phone up, you can see we've got exactly the same controls here. Nothing different, everything's exactly the same. So I'm going to switch the light on with my mobile device. There you go. So that's my mobile and you can also see that he switched it on on this unit here. And then what we'll do is we'll jump into the smart socket and have a look at the consumption. We now see that it is active. Yes, it's drawing 0 0.05 amps. Remember, it goes up to 16 amps in total for the current protection. And that's why I said I can switch the entire street on. It's showing 235 volts. That's what's coming down the system at the moment. Protection is set at 3 amps. 
the voltage protection is on again the red flashing light if it spots a problem and this is as i said a 10 watt light and it is drawing exactly 10 watts and there is the electrical consumption from it being in my front window the longer i leave that obviously the more it will click over it's showing 1.2 kilowatt hours that can be reset anytime on the next page like i showed you earlier on you can reset the counter so you can move this socket around hence the reason why i call it smart socket one and you can have a look and see what your electrical devices are costing you you know what's using the most and you can then tell with this and of course you can always turn them off if you plug them into something like this with the host using scenarios i'll turn this off now do the switch and that is the ajax smart socket i think you will agree you can see a lot of the benefits of this particular unit and um, this one here that i've got in my hand just for instance this is usually underneath my stairs i built a comms cabinet there's a um a four-way four channel independent amplifier in there i've got speakers in the house in the rooms and i love the sound system but i'll tell you what i can never be bothered climbing under the stairs to go in and switch it on manually well this is usually on the system and i can literally press a button on my mobile phone and switch the amplifier on and turn it off really easy i don't have to go climbing around it's just a press of a button on my mobile phone so that is the ajax smart socket i'm going to do a separate video on this the wall switch that you can see here don't let the name wall switch fool you it is actually a relay that obviously holds 230 240 volts and that is why i use it on my drive and that is used to arm if anybody ever breaks into my van. I'll show you that in the next video. See if you like it. Uh, if you want to see the next video, uh, click subscribe and click the bell button. I'm not going to put the silly pictures on the screen. If you don't want to subscribe and you don't want to click the bell, then don't. No pressure here. This stuff is all information that I give freely. It's mostly for my customers, but if you're watching it, use it for what it is some good experience and good information so if you want to keep an eye out for the next video please do so other than that all i can say is this is paul logging off at cctv systems uk and you all enjoy the rest of your weekend i'll see you again soon bye bye now